Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it is? It's only four o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. So Genuine got it wrong. Genuine, could you tell him what time it is? All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, Genuine is gonna bring us into the mix. Ladies and gentlemen, got some things we need to talk about. Nine o'clock, home alone, paging you. You know how old he is because he's talking about paging somebody. Okay, you know how old that song is because ain't nobody paged nobody in a long time, except for that pimp, you know, who got that pager on his side, you know. Drug dealers use pagers. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They use, they use, they use one of those encrypted text messaging services. Uh-oh. I done gave away somebody's secrets. I done apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Got some things we need to talk about, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, don't worry about what's in the background. Uh, this is not going to load up. I have to delete the whole thing, and I don't want to do that in order to reinstall it. I, I don't want to do that it's not going to complete it's going to give me a headache right about now and so i'll have to take care of it some other way see see it failed no and cancel abort and i'll take care of that later all right ladies and gentlemen um for the last five days since i put those videos up my phone hasn't stopped ringing from just about everybody and it literally hasn't stopped ringing. I'm just now able to take a break here at four o'clock. Been talking to people all day. I've had two consults today. The second consult wasn't actually a real consult. It was someone I'd already done a consult with who called me because he wanted to continue the original consult, which I left him with some things that he could try and he wanted more information on that. I'm like, uh-uh, that's a little too much of a detailed conversation. I told you I give you guys more than what you need I give you more than one option. So I was just giving you some other options. It's up to you to do the research on those other options. Well, I really need the information. Okay, fine. You really need the information. He didn't actually say it like that, but he said it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he was so anxious. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, there have been six people asking for consults since Friday. I have no problem with that because I will give you my time. There have been at least two people who failed to follow the rules I had to let them know that these are not negotiable rules <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty flexible I just require one main thing that when you email the Eon email address that you keep everything with the receipt in that same email stream that you communicate only through that email that you don't use a new email, no, you go right back to that same email so that the whole conversation is in a line because the person who asked for the second consult, I wasn't sure of who he was only until talking with him and saw his name. He, you know, he gave me the name and everything. I'm like, oh God, I know who you is. You know, that type of thing. Ladies and gentlemen, there's too much going on for me to be keeping up with all of your names. I know some of you, I have a couple people who call me be like, oh, what's up, Eon? Like, we best friends or something. Mother, who are this? Who's this? But they, say your name, mother. I don't, man, you know how many people I talk? See, that's the conversation they be having with me. I know they doing it on purpose. They're trying to cause me some stress. And it's working. Yep, because I'm losing it. Uh-oh. Sorry. I have a device that's supposed to be charging, and it is not charging. It was charging earlier, and it ain't charging now. And now I'm very upset that it ain't charging. <sighs> it's going to cause me some problems with my uh, electric system. Because I, it pulls a lot of energy and I need it to charge. It's a backup battery. And I'm disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, we got my girl in the background. And if y'all don't know who this is, y'all need to go ask somebody. Y'all know what time it is. Come on, Annie up! Gotta let the trumpet sound. I like to talk to y'all this evening. Annie up, time to 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's Leela James, and she's letting y'all know what time it is, okay? This is, uh, this woman, she knows she can sing. That's the, that's the bad part. She knows she can sing. All right. Show sure enough, been a long time. All right, let's get back to the information I'd like to deliver to you. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people out there who do videos, quite a few. And there are a lot of a lot of people out there who do videos, and they may demonstrate this or demonstrate that. Ladies and gentlemen, don't take nobody's word, not even mine, for anything. Go and do your own research. When you get in trouble, not because they have a right to get you in trouble, but pay attention to what I just said. When you get in trouble, the only person who's getting in trouble is you. Why? Because you failed to heed the warning. Do your research, your own research, your own homework. Be responsible, adults, and do your own research and homework. I've been yelling this at people for years, not just years, years. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not do research. Okay, I do not. I keep trying to tell that to people. I will show you some things that I find, but I don't go all in depth into the stuff. I just make sure that what I already know, I can back it up. That's all I'm doing is confirmation. That's right, confirmation. Okay, so those of you who need a little bit more information, we're gonna give you just a little bit more. I've had a couple people talk to me, you know, I have this claim against such and such, such and such, they did me wrong. I mean, they did me so wrong that it was foul. And I'm like, well, you need to get to the referee. If they, if they, if they did a wrong and it was a foul, call the referee so he can call a, a flag on the play. Who's the referee? You don't know who the referee, y'all don't know who the referee is. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce y'all to the referee. Referee's name is 1099C. That's the referee. Huh? Well, see, let's say this. I went to Colt, and I told, hey, excuse me, Yuzana, I got a problem for you. Uh, can you tell me what happens when I challenge your jurisdiction and you ignore my challenge when I have the right to challenge your jurisdiction? Oh, no, this ain't a multiple choice. No, no, you don't know the answer? Well, judicial knowledge said you're supposed to know the answer. Oh, well, that's okay, because I charge you for not knowing the answer to that question. Okay. All right, now, you go, y'all do what y'all do, because y'all are going to do what y'all do anyway. But just know that I'm filing a claim against you, okay, in your ignorance capacity, in your stupid capacity, in your moronic capacity. All right? Your, your, your own, your, 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 your anus? All right. What? Contempt? No, I ain't got no contempt for you. You get on my nerves, but I don't have no contempt for you. Oh, I'm in contempt? Oh, okay, all right, that's your claim against me? Against my claim against you? Well, I'm sorry you got a claim against me. I apologize, I wasn't trying to get no claim against me. You you gotta forgive me, though. No, no, you gotta forgive me. You don't have a choice, I apologize. Sorry, that's what you do when you wanna get rid of a contempt charge you literally apologize to the court you don't apologize to no judge you can't offend a judge they are to be impartial they cannot be offended they are like those men who stand at the castle with them big huge ugly looking hats on their head that's right i said it yeah they wait well, you can kick them and beat them and slap them and they pull out guns and they shoot you okay like them men okay that's how judges supposed to be and Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's Leela, and she's telling y'all, don't speak, I know what you're thinking, and I don't need no reasons, don't tell me cause it hurts. Hip hop, hip hop. I like, I like the original No Doubt version of Don't Speak, but I really do like this version. I, it's just something about it. I'm sorry. It just, it stays with you. You know, now no doubt we, we went there, but I like this one. All right. 
ladies and gentlemen, now the judge has caused me some problems. Let's say the judge ruled against me. I'm not bringing a complaint or a charge against the judge because they ruled against me. I can appeal that. Rule against me. I can appeal that. No, I'm bringing a charge against the judge for violating my rights. See, there is no law. I'm not worried about this. It wants me to get rid of some things that I don't want it to get rid of. That stuff ain't bothering nobody. Leave me alone, ESCT. ESCT, leave me alone, nah. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing my complaints against officials. Not just judges, police officers. Okay. Not just CEOs of corporations. I'm not bringing my complaint. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop for a minute. Let me tell you. They're going to be hip-hop, hip-hop, one more time. All right. Let me explain this to you guys so that you get it. I've had two companies do things to where they've taken over $1,000 from me and didn't have the right to do so. One of them was Amazon. Now, hold on now. Uh, on behalf of Amazon, let me explain. Amazon corrected things with the quickness, without missing a beat. Amazon gets my praise that's why i'm letting y'all know amazon i am still part of amazon amazon is my friend we get along just fine amazon took care of business they didn't take care of every single aspect but they did better than i thought they would without making me wait months so i don't have a problem with amazon and none of you should amazon is a juggernaut sorry that's just what they are but do not fault Amazon because the public made them a juggernaut. I use Amazon because I promise you I couldn't live without Amazon. Oh, they're, they're driving a Mick Mom and Pop Pops and Pops and Mom stores out of business. No, they're not driving them out of business. Walmart's driving them out of business. Y'all need to pay attention. Y'all need to pay attention. Walmart as the company that was driving those mom and pop stores out of business they did it on purpose that's why take a look at the neighborhoods walmart ended up in now they didn't get into watts <laughs> there ain't no walmart in watts but there are walmarts near watts it took years for that to happen okay but just need to let you guys know walmart had a strategy it went after the competition it bought up all of these goods at a cheaper price so that it could drive the competition out of business. That was Walmart's strategy. Sorry, it is business, and that's how some idiots in business, that's how they think. You hear, you see my thinking, you hear me. I, there, there are too many people out there. There's enough revenue out there for people of all angles. You know, um, ladies and gentlemen, there was some ignorant woman and I, that's the best way I can describe her. She contacted me asking if I could help her with the hour style money orders. I have repeatedly stated on my videos that I will not help anybody with the hour style money orders. I actually made a promise on video that I would not help anybody with the hour style money orders. Yes, I know they still work. Yes, I know people still use them. But as I told you guys, I haven't used an hour style money order in a long time. Do you know why? Because I don't need to. Okay? I, I don't put all of my eggs in one basket, people. There are so many other things to accomplish. I don't have a reason. I don't live outside my means, people. I'm not out there uh, driving every day. I'm not taking no flights. I'm not sitting up there paying for all kind of junk I don't need. Although I do have a lot of junk I don't need. Okay? I just need you all to understand. I live frugal on purpose because I told you my father taught me how to only go after what I need and not all that wanting stuff. Look, I'm not tired. Okay, a whole lot of people on this planet is tired trying to keep up with me and the rest of the Joneses, but I'm not tired. So y'all all out of breath. Well, the woman who was asking about the hour style money order, I was polite the first time. I simply told him, I said, hey, look, I got all of these people contacting me who are paying me for my services to do consults with them. 
didn't say that part, but I just said I got these consults that I have to take care of. I've had two this morning and blah, blah, blah. And I don't have time for this. I literally told her I don't have time for this. I've already said I am not going to be helping people with the all-star money orders. I literally said that. I said, you're going to have to go back and watch the old videos and follow the information in those. It hasn't changed. Literally. Okay. And I was nice. At least I thought I was nice. And the person wrote me back. Talking about how they were homeless at a time and they had difficult times and it's hard for them to pay for a side pack. What are you paying for a side pack for? This ain't got nothing to do with you being homeless. A side pack ain't going to take care of your homelessness. That's not what the side packs are about. I don't know why people are misunderstanding that these are securities. Lord have mercy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that person went on and on and on about all the stuff they're going through. And I don't mind people telling me about the stuff they're going through, but that's not what my email is for. Okay, I didn't put my email out there for you guys to think you can talk to me any type of way you want. What the flying fart? I did not put my email address up there for so you guys to think that you can comment on my videos through email. Stop doing that. I will start blocking people and I will start doing it without letting you know that I'm going to block you. So, did you get my email? Please. It will be blocked. Okay? I'm very grateful that the services allow me to block emails, put them in the automatic block okay ladies and gentlemen people keep asking how come we don't accept a for b well the same reason pay attention you don't accept a for v go ahead sell me your car let me a for v your car then shut the f up you ignorant mother Sorry, I'm, I'm talking to those people who are not my people. This person says she's been listening to my videos for years and yet doesn't understand who the f I am. So I just told her, don't contact me no more. Told her she didn't have to watch my videos. There is nobody forcing her to. Basically, I told her to peace out. Have a coconut smile. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. We're back to the judge now, and or the police officer, and or the school official who has caused me wrong, done me wrong. We're back to the city official who's ignored me. Now, there is a case law. Give me a second. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. And right here. Doom, 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 doom trustee violated no that's the trustee one I, I had to keep the trustee violated thing uh no i looked up mortgage and security that's not the one i want i gotta find it y'all i did have it up but i don't know where it is y'all can see fresh and clear and i've got a love that i long to see well the if you guys didn't understand that one right there there's a difference between a mortgage and a security, ladies and gentlemen. Your mortgage is not a, when they call it a mortgage-backed security, that's a lie. It is not a mortgage-backed security. It never was a mortgage-backed security. You cannot have a mortgage as a security. It's an oxymoron. It cannot happen. They convert the mortgage to a security. Okay? Those mortgages are generally not deemed securities. Pay attention. The lender takes mortgages as collateral in a traditional loan transaction. Those mortgages are generally, that word right there, whenever you see that word, that means they're not being specific, generally not securities. Yes, when they take the mortgage. But what this is what I've been advising people. If you have a bank that says that they've taken over the loan, that they bought the loan, say, excuse me, this is a mortgage-backed security. Where did the beneficiaries give you the right to come and buy this loan? Go ahead. Where did where did the, lent, the excuse me beneficiaries because there are many of them give you permission to come buy this loan? I need to see proof that you acquired this mortgage back security because I'm a beneficiary of this mortgage back security. That's right. I'm the one who's allowing it to be traded on the market, and I'm the one who's supposed to be paid when you purchase my mortgage. Y'all don't understand that, do y'all? What I just said. Y'all don't understand it, right? Hold on. Let me see if we can find this out. Yeah, I didn't want this video to be this long, but I just said something. Okay.
Give me one second. This is Aloe Black, ladies and gentlemen. This is here today. I just put the borrower just to receive dividends on a mortgage-backed security. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 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 here today. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this again. If you are part of the mortgage-backed security, you are the one that's permitting it to be traded on the market. Okay, if they're buying and selling that mortgage-backed security, how come you're not getting paid? Do you not know that there is no law that allows them to trade your property, your mortgage on the market. You own that property. It's being traded on the market. They don't have any right to do that. They need your permission. That's in the paperwork that you signed. If they're trading your property on the market, you're supposed to be receiving some dividends through that securitization trustee. Somebody bought and sold your property. How come you did not get paid? There was a profit made. How come you did not get paid? That's the first question you should be asking. The second question is, wait a minute. You can't buy and sell nothing without the owner's permission. A mortgage-backed security has many owners. A mortgage-backed security has many owners, many beneficiaries. So how in the world, oh, I forgot the END. Anyway, all right. Yeah, see, I didn't put the D there. Sorry, didn't put D. All right. Uh, give me a second. Securities lending is the act of loaning a stock, derivatives, or others send payment equal to the dividends and other returns back to the lender. Ladies and gentlemen, Mortgage-backed securities requires you get paid. You just have to pay attention. Pay attention. The assets may be provided a better interest rate and repayment terms for the loan. The borrower retains the ownership of the asset and continues to earn interest. The borrower continues to earn interest. You pledge assets in the form of a mortgage-backed security. <laughs> okay? Ladies and gentlemen, when somebody, pay attention, for most bonds, the borrower of the security is entitled, the, borrower, the buyer of the security is entitled to interest payments, the distribution, on trades that settle up. Settle up! Get on up! They'll settle on up. Okay, what does Schwab charge to trade mortgage-backed securities? Look at that. There is, there is somebody paying somebody to trade some mortgage-backed securities. Ooh-wee. Short selling. The borrowing securities that goes with it goes back to the earliest days of stock trading. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't write this. I've never told anybody this. I've only been telling people that they need to contact the SEC, find out what their policy and procedures is for filing a complaint against the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission's trustee. That's why I brought out the information of the T1 form. Okay, I hadn't heard of the T1 form since 2012, but somebody, a person who's well versed in this stuff, brought it back to my attention the other day. And so there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how can they trade your property and sell the mortgage-backed security, which, again, is your property, without compensating you? Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's do it this way. You just invented a new style of cell phone. This cell phone is a triangle. As a matter of fact, the way this triangle works is 
you can use it a whole lot better. The picture's a whole lot clearer, and it's three-dimensional. You just created this new device that is going to revolutionize cell phones because there's been no change in the terminology, or excuse me, not terminology, but technology in the past 40 years. So you are about to do some revolutionary changes. And yet, uh-oh, dang it, somebody stole your patent. And now they're out there making money off of your product. What you do? You sue them. When you win, what you get? Everything they made and then some. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody's selling your product on the market. And they're making gains, okay? Dividends, gains, and other income from trading assets and activities. They are making dividends. Dividends. Oh, man, I had me a dividend. Mm -hmm. It was right next to the living room. Oh, man, that dividend was where we all kicked it for all kind of things, okay? The borrower, which, as the new legal owner of the security, will receive dividends. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how we stumbled on this one. The borrower, which, as the legal owner of the security, will receive dividend. Interest. Why? Why would the borrower receive interest? Ladies and gentlemen, I never looked this up. I promise you, never looked it up. Never even studied this before. Oh, look at King James. In 1611, the Amsterdam Stock Exchange was set up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, none of this is new. But the fact that what I just gave you, nobody's argued, at least to my knowledge. But now you get to argue it. You get to file a complaint with the SEC. Securitization trustee cannot be involved in foreclosures and involved in the trading of stocks and securities. You also get to ask for those financial records since they say they bought the property. Where did you get my permission? Show me, show me, show me. They're gonna say, well, you gave your permission. Ladies and gentlemen, I just noticed this. This is Windows 11. This is not my Stardock. This sun was up here. Because it's four o'clock, this sun is now starting to set like the sun that's outside. I like that. This is all right. Windows, y'all did all right with this one. Okay. I just noticed it because I saw the sun over here and I kept like, I'm looking at it like the, the screen, the scene change. It changed all right. They just moved. They just new picture, sun going down. Okay. All right. Now, now that we gotten that out of the way, for those of you who have mortgages, uh, many of you are watching my videos and you say I'm all over the place. You better believe I'm all over the place because I'm not one dimensional. You don't hear me just talking about, I don't want to money artists or yeah, getting rid of some debt. Okay, I refuse to be one dimensional. Okay, I am twa dimensional. Twa! Okay, I have a repertoire and everything. So just as long as y'all understand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on this January the 11th, it is quite interesting. Someone told me that I needed to talk with you guys about something, and so I'm going to try to talk with you guys about it. I don't know if you guys can handle it, okay? I really don't. So we're going to type something in, and my hope is that it will pull up. Um, I got a sister city. So we're going to say X-I-A-N. Sion. J-A-N. One one. Let's do our comma. Two zero two two. I know I said twenty twenty one earlier. I apologize. It's the first time I did that all year. Man, I'm just going. It was only a year ago that I used to do that. Now I just gotta. I gotta change my methods, ladies and gentlemen. Sion, Sion, like Eon with an S. Sion is China's biggest COVID challenge since Wuhan. Wuhan! Okay? Sion. Ladies and gentlemen, they've locked down another two, pay attention, another two cities in China as of today. It is not just COVID. It is not just COVID, ladies and gentlemen. There are two promises by China. Chinese official promises groceries for lockdown residents. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two problems in China and it ain't got nothing to do with nobody's groceries okay China can handle the grocery thing but this is
probably the biggest disaster in anybody's history. Let's do M A R B U R G. Marburg. Hey, Marburg, where you been? Okay. So we got Marburg. China keeps 13 million people. That's December 30th. December 30th. But the Marburg virus, they found in Africa first, uh, according to them. But like Geneva, Switzerland. Ooh, we didn't even know it was in Geneva. But that's where the World Health Organization is because that's where NATO is. Okay. European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, Ebola, Marburg fever, fever. They call it a fever. We know that it's not a fever, ladies and gentlemen. Ebola and Marburg fevers. Marburg is a form of Ebola. It's part of the Ebola family. They, they need to stop playing with people with the terminology. They know it's Ebola. Okay, December 19, 2021. Data shows that from January to August, the number of epidemic hemorrhagic fever in China was 4,359 cases. The death toll was, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how this is a lie. It said there were 4,000 cases. The death toll was 21. Now, I don't think it's saying the death toll was 21. Let me, I think it's probably going to say 2,100. Okay, anybody ever heard of any of this? Of course not. Of course not. Amazing. Yet now they have COVID and, oh, mortality rate of 0.47%. Really, why do they do 0.47%? That don't make any sense. How does point, how do you do 0.47%? Ladies and gentlemen, that don't make no sense. Why would they say 0.47%? I am looking, oh, look at that. Of 4,500 cases, the death toll was only 21 somebody's lying let me show you why we know somebody is lying we're gonna go back to the search page like I said there's no reason to do no research they're telling us everything where is it at I saw it yes it's a cousin of Ebola and equally deadly as Ebola remember Ebola killed over 60 percent of the people who were infected so how is only 21 people dead as a result, when Malberg seems to be seems to be just as deadly as Ebola. Conjunction, junction. What's your function? To lie to everybody, so that they think something else is going on. Okay. And they've definitely done it because of the COVID outbreak, and definitely not for Malberg and some crazy jazz. Yeah. Okay. I know that this is a lie, but I like that <laughs> that Twitter is actually saying this. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you about the this current virus known as Corona. Oh my God! I mean, oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, I told you about that when they came up with the name before they came up with the name when they just had the numbers. I told you guys to watch out for it. Not watch out for it because a lot of people are gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh God, no, no. I told you to watch out for it because that was part of. It appears to be a plan. What are you saying that coronavirus is a plan? No, I'm saying that they have a plan for coronavirus. Okay, just to make sure everybody understands that they have a plan for coronavirus, and when they Ebola and Malberg, uh, well Ebola and Malberg. See, it says. Many people ask me about Ebola or Marburg, like hemorrhage, fever virus. Oh no! People must know the truth. Who is this? This is a doctor. He's on Twitter and he's talking to people and telling them they must know the truth. Well, I don't know that truth that he's speaking. What I do know is this, so that everybody gets it. What if the two viruses came together? Corona? and Malberg or Ebola. What if they came together? That would be one of the most deadly pathogens that have ever traveled through this planet. As a matter of fact, it would be so devastating that I don't think that there would be anyone who would think that we were gonna survive. Shame on us. Okay, enough about that. Somebody told me I need to bring it to your attention, so I brought it to your attention. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we need to do is talk about the corporation and we're getting ready to start because most people don't understand. We talked about the judge and the officials who violate people's rights. As long as the individual has documented, sent letters, sent notices, sent, hey, you guys are doing this, you can't do that. We challenged your jurisdiction, all that, and they ignored it, denied it, didn't respond. You asked them a question, they ignore you, deny you, don't respond. Then you just sent them, send them a bill. Say, hey, I appreciate the fact that you ignored me. Appreciate the fact you didn't respond. And I, I just want to let you know that I, I have a claim against you. Yeah, my claim is it's reasonable. Um, for the damages, I'm basically only going to charge you $50,000. But then I'm also going to charge you legal fees and assessments and all that. So the total cost would be about $115,000. See, that's not much. I, even though you did this for four or five years, 115000 is reasonable. And I'm giving you a discount. Because the actual charge, it, it's insurmountable. So that's why I'm only going to forgive you the financial damages. Okay, I still reserve the right to bring a claim against you for fraud and attempt to defraud my person. But for the financial damages, you forgive him. Don't worry about it. Okay, but I can't forgive you just yet. Here's a bill. Yeah, this bill is for the amount. You have 30 days. Not 10, not 15, no, 30. All right, you got to tell them to pay. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, they don't pay in the 30 days. You just send them a nice little notice. Hey, I didn't, I, I realized that you ain't going to pay. <laughs> I, I, because you told me you weren't going to pay from the beginning. So because you ain't going to pay me, I'm going to write your debt off as a worthless debt. Now, don't worry about it. I got this company that I'm working with. I'm giving them permission to operate on my behalf, and they're sending you this. So they're they just letting you know that you're forgiven. You ain't even got to worry about this no more. Don't you dare fret. All right? Peace out, G. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to file their appropriate 1099As and 1099Cs with the federal government. And the organization that we put together to help them with this will file the same. The organization that we put together will only take a 15% 15% um, fee plus the initial application fee. Why 15? Well, technically, 15 is not a lot in this because we're only doing 15% of credits, not 15% of cash. So that's the first thing. Second, it is absolutely necessary because there must be value and consideration. We couldn't take a dollar and we couldn't take $10 because the law would say because of it being a corporation that something shady is going on here. So I just thought I'd let you guys in on that, okay? And then they send their paperwork out. We do everything that is required of us. And we bring the person to being whole so that they can file their documents, their tax documents. We create a record. We create an official record. We create a record that is more solid than the record that is created by tax collectors. Why? Well, because we want to make sure that we document everything that's going on. So the only thing the client will have to do is provide us the documentation, pay the fee, and the documentation will have to consist of proof of mailing or an affidavit stating what has occurred. And we take that because that will be your verification. And we send it to the party. See, whenever you're collecting a debt, you have to provide verification of the debt. And so that's what we're going to be requiring. We're working on the aspects of that now we will let you all know and I assure you I had not come up with a better idea since I came up with the arbitration so and I didn't come up with arbitration what I came up with was the ability to do an arbitration add it to a trust agreement and to create an arbitration association as a result of what Mr. Bradley Christopher Stark had done that's the issue ladies and gentlemen I would love to go on and talk some more but I got, I have two people I'm doing an appeal for, and I forgot I did ask for an extension, and I've been trying to rush myself. I'm not going to rush their appeals. I know what I'm going to do with their appeals. As a matter of fact, give me a second. I got to be careful because I don't want to show y'all. Yeah, we can do this right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, certificate of interest person, all in the same document. This document was 89 pages long at first. This is going to be a basic template for everybody else where statement, all that, most of it's going to be general information. Each of these, we're going to be changing the page numbers on that. And I, this is the outline. So as you see, the outline pretty much already has enough information. 
but down here is where we add all the other information this is only 17 pages and notice it's not even all filled in 35 pages is probably going to be the extent of this because you get to add the storyline I'm just copying and pasting what we've already sent to the court those of you who don't know how to write an appeal brief those of you who do not know how to write an appeal brief those of you who do not know how to write an appeal brief this is what we're doing for you okay and a lot of this information probably won't remain here but this is what we're doing for you so we're going to put up this template so those of you who the whole appeal process we're going to put up all the templates for you so that if you have to do an appeal the only thing you got to do is just fill in the blanks everything else will already be taken care of okay fill in the blanks and then go over it over it over it again because that's your argue I, I don't like to argue oh well that's your communication with the court forget that arguing stuff arguing puts you in a competitive this what is not disrespectful but dishonorable state and we don't want to be in dishonor all right ladies and gentlemen as i did say i have to go because i have to get myself ready for tomorrow tomorrow is going to be as long a day as today and today was god today was long take care of yourselves okay Stay out of trouble. Gotta go. Adios. Ribadurchi. You know what? Allo. Let him know what's going on. Allo's gonna take us out of here. He's talking about here today, y'all. Here today. Gone tomorrow. Here today. Allo Black, everybody. Gone today. <laughs>